I'll call the meeting to order at 1908 hours. We've got a quorum of at least 20, I see here, maybe 21. As I scan the room. Uh, first order of business, I'd like to conduct elections tonight for the upcoming year. Mike Mack, the President of the United States. And with that, I am stepping down this year. Um, there's a retirement coming here at my department with my chief in July. And I'm taking on more responsibility. Uh, Steve Cooley, who works for us, is a Niagara County representative. And he's going to be taking my spot on the Orleans County Council as our representative from here. And I will probably be an alternate still involved some up with Orleans County. But this is my last meeting with Big Lakes. This uh, it would have been my ninth year. If I'd run, it's been a nice eight years. A lot of ups and downs. A lot of learning that I didn't imagine was uh, a part of this when I took the job. So uh, I'd like to open the nominations up. And with that, I'd like to nominate off the bat my vice chairman for the last three years, John Melanchuk, for the position of chairman. And with that, John, do you accept? Yes. Okay. Open up the second round. Nominations for chairman on a second. I nominate. Wade Schwab. Wade, you accept? Yeah. Okay, and for a third time, opening nominations for chairman. Following Robert's rules, closing the nominations, I'll go get ballots. I'll be right back. Oh no, these are blue, so I, I usually do I usually do, but some of these shirts I John, you didn't sign in. I've been waiting for the. Oh, he was walking away. He probably went for a second time. Is there anybody else that has not signed in? I call it Avanti. 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 I call it Avanti. 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 Avanti.
What do I do? Press it in. I got it. Okay. I hear Dave, Dave Greenwell talking. It's between John Melanchuk and Wade Schwab. Andrew Faskell with a beard coming up and Lynn O'Donnell. Are not members of the council, they're going to do the verification. Okay. How many did you get? 21. I got 20 signatures. Huh? Let me look at it. You guys can help is there anybody that did not that's in the room that did not sign in Okay, I'm going to read your name off. Jerry Yoder, raise your hand. John Downing. John Duran. Wade Schwab. Deb Spears, Mike Fuller, yep. Pete Hendrickson, yep. Jason Spencer, Kristen yeah. McAdoo. <laughs> what, what's your real last name? I changed it. Dale Banker. Banker. Patrick Lampka. Barbara Merlin. Merlino. John Frozalone. Hi. John Melanchine. Dave Greenwall. Yabo. Steve Cooley. Here. Elaine Roman, Richard Kozar, here. John Carey, here. Cheryl Conifer, here. That's it. Twenty. Twenty. We had. Who did I get one that didn't? Twenty-one. It was twelve to nine. We got twenty-one. It was twelve to nine. John Melanchuk. I don't know who. I gave a piece of paper to that voted that didn't sign in that I thought was a member. We, Okay, thank you. We have. Yeah. We have. Yeah. Yeah. We've been eleven to nine. So, with that, John is the new chairman. Okay. Do I make a motion to destroy? Yes. No, Do I have a motion to destroy? We usually go in a sealed envelope and saved. Oh, we can do that too. In case things ever get contested. Okay, Mr. Roberts. Sorry. That's fine. I will grab an envelope yeah, out of my office. the next meeting, all right? Usually we have a hard time getting yeah, one person right? That's what yeah. we do with our yeah. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
All right, I'd like to open the nominations for vice chairman. Nominate Steve Cooley. Steve, you accept. Second time for vice chairman. Wade. Wade Schwab. Third time for vice chairman. Close the floor. Let me see if I got 20. Oh, I grabbed him off. Myself. Chad, like oh, not the hanging chad. Oh, no. I just handed out 21. Okay. Somebody, Somebody did sign in. Did he say your name? Did you say his name? Mike Mack. What did you, you sign that? Mike Mack. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I signed it. Name. Did he? I don't but he didn't he say your, your name. name. He didn't say your name. I, I think it's you, Mr. <laughs> this is my last one. <laughs> Forgive me yeah. for not caring. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, wait, a minute. Yeah. Wait, a minute. Yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Come back. Free yeah. yeah. Look, my I'm wife like going far, but <laughs> believe me, this is going to be a yeah. weight off. Time. You know, I'm probably the oldest person in this question. room. Question in the room, room, John. He did not sign in. I saw Father Time. Traditionally, and I think the bylaws are that there's one of the three, each office is supposed to be from a different county. Correct. Yeah. That is and correct. And I was going to bring that up once we get the secretary. Treasurer or treasurer oh. position. Right now, as it stands, Niagara County has a chair. Right. Between Orleans County and Genesee County for the vice chair and the treasurer. Now. Right. That's per the bylaws. Okay. And I, and I think it's appropriate since we've always done it in the past. Are you still interested in being treasurer? Mm hmm. See. Okay. How you can't hold somebody right to it the front. But what you can't, but it all depends on how you do so. so both yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If this one comes out, but that's a good point, John. Excellent point. Oh, yeah. yeah, it comes down to yeah. whoever. Yeah, what county is this? Orleans? This is Orleans. Yeah, Orleans. Orleans or Genesee for the next two. Right, gotcha. Another envelope shot, Mr. Chair. Oh, Okay, we have a vote of 14 for Steve Cooley, 7 for Wade Schwab. Oh. Steve Cooley is the new vice chairman. Open the floor for treasurer. I nominate Sean Downey for treasurer. He's been treasurer for a while now. Five years? It's been a while. Three, four, five. Four, three, four, five. Four, three, four, five. <laughs> 
day you ask your ever clicking. Fucking good time once. All right. So you accept? Yes. Sean accepts. Open the nominations for a treasurer for from Genesee County. Open it up third time for a treasurer from Genesee County. And I have a motion to close the I make motion to close. And Five. have the sec or have the have the vice chairman, current vice chairman, cast one ballot that Sean Downing is the treasurer. I have a second on that. Second by John Fraz alone. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Are any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Sean. Open up the nominations for a Genesee County trustee to the Big Lakes. We have one trustee from each, each county. county and then one at large. I have a nomination yeah. for a trustee from Genesee County. Wait, wait. John, you accept John? Yeah. Okay. I have a second on the nominations from Genesee County. Do I have a third? Second. You'll second it. Okay. Uh, do I have a third on the nominations for Genesee County? Can I get a motion to close the nomination? Have the treasurer cast one ballot. Do I have a second on that? Second by John Fraz alone. Spires. Deb Spires Spires. on the nomination. Or on the, uh, my head's. Motion. Motion, Motion. yeah. Close the election. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, John Durant will be the representative trustee from Genesee County. Can I go to Orleans County? Do I have nominations for a Trustee. I'll make a motion to uh, Jason Spencer. You accept? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was notified by Lucky Miller that he was interested in the position of trustee for Orleans County or at large um, by phone earlier. So I'd like to nominate John. Miller, for Orleans County, on a second try. Second. On a third try, do we have anybody nominations for Orleans County trustee? I nominate Pete Henderson. And I'll second it. Do you accept it? Sure. Okay. So we have two. We have two. So you can vote. More ballots. More ballots. Not a problem. We have another over. Maybe we, we have should bring over the next one back. half.
I have a question. Yes, sir. If there's an Orleans County trustee, <laughs> shouldn't just Orleans County be voting on to us? We've never done it that way. We've never done it that way before, so. So, why would Niagara and Genesee vote for Orleans County's trustee? Because you're part of the lake. I understand that, but it's their trustee, huh? Because we vote. Tennessee County has a trustee, Orleans has a trustee, yeah. Niagara has a trustee. I think the way you can I don't know. I didn't something like that. It makes sense, but it's like it's the entire wasn't here for the last one when they first started this up. No, it's been every single Last time we did it by raise of hand. Last time we had a contested when we opened up, it used to be the, the county coordinator for always. The trustees. Right. We opted out of that. We changed that out. We only had one contested trustee race, and that was going back. And whoever that was ended up being the large. So much money that they couldn't afford. So they didn't care. You know, I don't know. This is the first. That's the first one. It's the first one, and it's the last one. And it gives you. He says he's one of the best. Be nice to him. I spent the third day. Greg was going to go over so he killed him. Somebody not have theirs picked up? What happened this time? Somebody elected not to vote. Everybody voted that wants to vote. Doesn't Mike Mack didn't vote. I voted. <laughs> well, that's okay, right? Did everybody vote who wanted to? Is anybody holding a ballot that they need to turn in? I got you got 16. She just miscounted. She's, oh, she's got it. Okay. All right. We have 16 for Pete Hendrickson. Five for John Miller. Pete Hendrickson, the new trustee from Orleans County. Hey, I didn't get hired for my math skills. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, on to Niagara County. Nominations for trustee. I'll name him, nominate John Puzzolo. John, do you accept? Yes. Okay, on the second open nominations for Niagara County Trustee. Third nominations for Niagara County Trustee. I have a motion to close the nominations. The treasurer cast one ballot for John Frazzle. Who made it? Pete Hendrickson. Second by Barb Morlino. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right. For the open at large seat, um, John Miller, again, as I said, when he ran, when I nominated him for Orleans County, was interested in at large or Orleans County, so I'd like to nominate him. Can I go to the second? Wade. Wade Schwab for the at large. Wade, you accept? Yes. Okay. And for the third time, do I have a nomination for the at large? Okay, can I have a uh, motion to close the nominations for at large trustee for Big Lakes? Motion. Dave Greenlaw on the motion, second by Sean Downey. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. All right, we'll move on to elections. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No, his rank. I said he can't still up. I don't like that one. I think what I like. I have one I can tell you. We got a shirt. Oh, yeah. Better. Yours is better. No, we have a lot of Miller. John Miller or we twelve. First one. Thank you. 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 Surely you're going to want to copy the template. Okay, with the election for the at-large trustee, we got 14 for Wade Schwab, 7 for Lucky Miller. Wade, congratulations to the new at-large trustee. These have been sealed. Can I give them to you, Sean, for holding? Absolutely. And with that, I'd like to turn the meeting over to your 2015 chairman. And I'm going to exit the back door. Actually, not really. I think that Mike Davis here. Uh, Why? It's a lot of years. So there's, there's something we need to do, right? No. I couldn't have done it without the help of the council. When I took this on, I like I said, I didn't know what I was getting into. It's been a life, a very interesting ride, roller coaster ride. CONs, I think we've had more than our share of CONs in the last, the last six time years. We were together, <clears throat> state 10, 11, that meeting we talked about. You know, we've had, we've got two coming for it this year again. Or I should say, we, you guys do have two forthcoming. Um, good luck, Mr. Chairman. Thanks. Okay. Are you going to stay there, John? Yes. Do you have any correspondence? There's yes. a ton of stuff in there. I mean, <laughs> it goes back to probably last spring. <laughs> yeah. There's there's no way I'm going to go through all of this with, with everybody sitting here. So if nobody objects, I'm just put the correspondence on hold. And I'm going to say that since we've had a double difficult three or four months. Uh, we need to meet again. So our next regular meeting would have been for March. The second Wednesday in March. So our next meeting will be the second Wednesday in March. So let me ask this. Let me ask this. 
Park. He's not going to come on the second Wednesday in Park. So, Gregory. Yeah. So, okay. So, I count on seeing everybody the second Wednesday in March. Uh, training and Ed typically started at 6 o'clock. We're going to need chairs for all these committees. I'm a big believer of having as many people as possible participate. I'm also a big believer of saying, you don't participate, why are you here? So what I'm going to do, yes, Jason. Where is it said you can hear? Yes. Mike had said at the beginning before, I think maybe after you came or before you came, that the Medina Fire Company is going to allow us to continue to use the room and the facilities. Uh, the mailbox, we still have to straighten out what we're going to do about that. It's just, just too much for me to do tonight at once. But I, there's a lot of committees. Uh, just going from our old meeting minutes, pre-hospital care, education, con, finance, uh, that's just the name for the committees. So if you're interested in serving on a committee, what I would like you to do is contact me. So my new email address will be J M A L I N C H O C K at roadrunner.com. So, what I'm going to ask is that in the next seven days, it gives me a little time to get ready for next month or sooner, you send an email to J Melanchuk at roadrunner.com saying, Hello, my name is. Here's my email address. Here's my mailing address. <clears throat> I'd like to be on this committee. Okay. Look at some of the old minutes. We have bylaw committee also that we need to take a look at. I'm going to try to create a couple more committees to facilitate us working with other agencies and departments. You know, to try to make it more homogeneous if that is conceivably possible. So please do that. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to think negative. Okay. Yeah, can you say yes, Sam, again? The email? No, no, no. The, the, different committees. Committees. the committees. Think about it. Bylaw for sure. Kind, which we need people for almost immediately. Pre-hospital care, finance, training and education. I think I mentioned pre-hospital care. And I got a couple other ideas that I got to play with too. When you send it in to me, you know, I'll, I'll fire it out there. Aren't the training and that usually the course uh, sponsors? Can be anybody that wants to be on it. We have never closed the meetings to anyone. We haven't. You've attended some of them. So, yes? John, maybe the close of tonight's meeting or tomorrow at some point in time, you generate an email to everybody, and that way have your contact information, my contact information. The reason I did everybody that. Everybody down the list of, of your record. The reason I did that, quite frankly. And then your needs and wants, and, and maybe some specialty areas that a very you want help with. I agree with you 100%. The reason I did it reverse is so that I can pick up everybody's addresses okay. instead of my trying to find out everybody's yeah. addresses. Okay, yeah. But there will be a give and take. Uh, as far as give and take goes with me, you got to give me a couple of days. You know, sometimes it'll be instantaneously. Sometimes it'll be a couple of days later. My home phone number. I live on the Canadian border. That's like living on the Mexican border in many ways. Is 716-297-2446. 716-297-2446. Feel free to use the cell. It's 
876-467-4650. The only thing I'm going to tell you is if I'm home and the cell phone rings with all the electronic monitoring from the bridge and all the police agencies, I have to stand in the middle of the street to talk to you. Enough people don't like me as it is, so I don't stand in the middle of the street. So, you know, you feel free to use it, but when it goes dead and I'm talking to you, you know I'm home. And, and don't hesitate. I'm looking for some ideas. I'm looking for a couple of things that, you know, maybe we need to do different. Maybe we need to stay the same way. Uh, I don't know at this point in time. I need to really think about it and listen to your input and then have maybe an open discussion on it. So that's, that's my general idea. Uh, meetings, I, I, I'm a firm believer that meetings need to start on time, give or take a few minutes. I'm a firm believer, come in, do the business, the meeting's over, you want to talk afterwards, we can go into subgroups. I also have a tendency that I tend to think that using Andy Steele, right? Andy. Andy. The last time we met, Andy was going to explore, and he did, he truly did, explore other ways to meet, okay, using today's modern technology. I have to talk to the state on that because I'm not sure that we can video conference, video conference or do the meeting from remote locations. I have to talk to them about that. Um, let's say, for example, we put together a, a finance committee, just for sake of it, and the treasurer ends up being the chair, mm -hmm. and there's three or four people that are on the finance committee. Why not have a conference call? And then when we come to the meeting, you bring forth your material and your information. Training and education, you, know, you, you can try, we can try and build it there just to keep things going, to keep people talking to each other uh, in the days before, other than saying, okay, we're going to get together on such and such a date, and everybody rushes to do it. Uh, that's my thought there. Bylaws, maybe we need to change the bylaws. I don't know. That's an also a possibility. You know, think of where you're going to go and what you're doing. Uh, county reports for tonight. Is there any county here that feels they need to say something? Okay. If not, any, okay. is there anybody that feels that they need to talk about anything or would like to talk about anything? Yes? The only thing we can need to talk about it, okay. would be the treasurer's report. We need to make sure that that gets done and into the minutes. So every there's just a copy of the treasurer's report that's out there. Um, I'll just read off what they are real quick from Genesee County. For, for general, there was 7731 for pizza for the last meeting. We had $200 for Tri-County Ambulance. Our community. Or Tri-Community. Uh, ambulance. <laughs> You're right. Um, we had Holly for 225. We had Carrollton Fire Department 455. Those are for vital signs. Then Niagara County, we had purchased a computer for training and education. Eats 57.54 for our total expenses of $1,814.85. Um, that's, I guess we need a motion to move we'll accept the treasurer's report as presented. Second. Motion Greenwell. Second. Dead. Spears. Byers. Byers. Byers like the church speaker. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion <clears throat> carried. Okay. Program agency. Oh, just, no. a, just want to finish the yeah, okay. page two on this, which is actually our uh, budget <coughs> 2016 2017. Basically, remains the same as submitted from last year's budget because we 
didn't expend our money. Kind of hard to go back to the state and say, you need more money because you didn't even spend what you had last year. So the figures remain the same. If you want to flip to the next page, it gives you where we're at this year in expenditure by line item for what we've spent so far this year. On the very far hand right side, you see we still have $20,000 left to spend by the end of March. And which categories we could spend more? Pardon me? I could use a new bike. Okay. As long as, it, as long as it meets the criteria, we can fund it. But each county has to spend a third of the training and education funds. So, yeah, thunder something, I say like six plus. So, departments, we keep saying every year submit your vital signs, submit your bills, submit what you want to, what you need to purchase for training and education by county because it has to be approved by your county EMS uh, council and then brought to us. You can't just say I'm going to buy it and the county council didn't approve it. Once they approve it, you just give us the bills and we'll pay it out of our money. But the money's there, spend it. And otherwise, we can't submit for it. I can't submit blank sheets of paper and ask for money. Yeah, no. I, I mean, what happens in March with the twenty thousand? If we don't spend it, the state takes it back. So we don't have it. We don't. We don't get the money. We so submit, we submit to for get it. money back. We have yeah, money in the bank. to be reimbursed. Yeah, it's yeah. a reimbursement. And what you have in the bank is the ten thousand on the first right. page, right? There, that's what we have expendable to us. We yes. have five thousand dollars extra in there from one of the times. But I mean, there's right. You know, okay. so we got all of March to use that, right? We have until March to use it. So, so wait, until March or all of March? All I March. have until March 31st okay. when the, you know, your bill has right. to be dated by March 31st. You have to that. submit the that. bills to the state. So anything after the first, I can't submit. Do you have a question? Feel free to call Sean. Charlie? You should have. I didn't forget you. No, it's okay. Okay, um, you can see on the trainings, we've had a lot of trainings, and the reason it's so extensive and looks so old is because there hasn't been quorum, so it hasn't been able to be entered into the meeting, the minutes, so I have to keep adding to it. Sorry. Next one won't be as long. Um, and you can see what we've had. We had the CLI class. We had a CIU class. We have, um, I'm not going to read them all. There's a... Uh, Beth Moses from ECMC is going to be coming out and doing a thoracic and abdominal trauma class. One is at Miller Hose and one is at Genesee County Fire Training Center. I'm going to be looking for a host in Orleans County. I started working on that and some conflicts of dates because it was going to be here and there were some issues. Um, so we're going to work on that one yet. I'm waiting for Beth to give me some more dates. Um, if you guys have any programs, if you're doing like EMT classes or anything like that, let us know. We always post it on our sites. If you have other education you want posted up there, we put it up. We have a great way of tracking how many people click and actually look, so we can let you know if people are actually looking at it on the site. So that's, you know, if you ever need that data, let us know. Um, you can see the other, under the other information, if it's the blue, it's old. And I have to apologize, I put Tritown instead of Tri Community switching their um, electronic PCR. Sorry about that. Um, that was, that's all been taken care of and approved through Remac and everything else, the stuff in light blue. Um, Wilkinsville has submitted their notes of intent to use BLS Narcan. And, and we want to uh, update the Big Lakes website. It's outdated locally, so, uh, but we won't do it without permission. So we're looking to get permission to do that. Now with the changes and everything, we could put that information as well. But we would, we would need the members, you know, each county's members and, and everything, so we can get that all updated for you guys too. Um, what else? Right now, with the new, because we know everybody's got to do their yearly skills again, we are starting to work with agencies. If, you, if anybody needs help with that, because they don't have a CLI, CIC, or a WEMAC preceptor within their organization, feel free to contact us and come out and help you. We've started doing trials just to see how it's going to work, and so far it's been working pretty good. I've only done one. I got my next one on Saturday in Genesee County. Um, I just opened it up for a certain amount of time. People come if they can. If they can't, they can't. And we'll do another one, at least one. Well, I have another one scheduled in Genesee County, March 6th. That's a daytime one for people. And then I'll do another one, like, on a weekend. 
um, in Genesee County, and then we're going to be moving up to Orleans County if anybody needs help up here, too. And then Andy's going to be starting contacting Niagara County to see agencies that may need help, because last year that was a problem. Some people didn't have the people they need within their organization to get things done. So we're trying to make things easier for people, um, so we're doing that. So if anybody, if anybody here needs help, give a yell to our office. We'll get things going for you and get you set up. Um, if you know an agency that does need help or whatever, let us know. Um, tell them to contact us because we'd love to help them. So if there's any questions. Can I have one question, Charlotte? Sure. I've asked it before. I'm going to ask it again. Is there such a thing as a REMAC preceptor? But anybody who took the class. I went through the class and never heard anything more. You went through it and you didn't get your certification? I never heard anything more because they said there was going to be this whole big thing and they were going to go through the list and medical directors had to sign off on it, this and that. And Where'd we'll, you do yours? We'll get in touch with you. Where was it we went, Cheryl? Clarence Center. Center. Okay, that's Wyoming Erie's. You have to talk to Scott Wander. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize on that one. See, anybody went to ours got their got a certificate because that was never done at Wyoming Erie. They said they were going to, they didn't. I'm sorry. I took yours. I never had anything. Or heard anything. Did you get... Wait a minute, you're, so you're Barb. Kristen. Kristen. You're Barb. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. It's okay. Mike did it. You're Barb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll screw it up. I don't want to be talking to Brie and mine from London. Yeah. Um, I think you just got approved. You just got approved. I think that Corey just sent me your approval. You're with COVID, right? Yeah. Okay, no, I didn't see yours. Did you send me your uh, medical director's approval? No, at the last I thought they were going to submit everybody through. I never got anything saying I didn't. All you need is a letter from your medical director stating that you're approved by him to be a preceptor. And then in turn, we put you on the list and we send you a certificate saying that you've been approved. Okay, sorry. Got it. And that's where I'm at to finish the conversation. Yes. Same place. <laughs> okay. Now just call or yell, guys. Anytime you've got questions. Anything else? you got to get hold of Scott here. I'm sorry. Are you going to do any more classes? We can. If you guys need one, we're more than glad to do one. I've been talking to um, Lori Schwab because she's got a couple people that want it, and I talked about doing one up here because she's the only one who said anything about it. I have one person from Genesee County who wants it, but she lives in Elba, so she could easily go to Orleans. What's the magic number you're looking for? Ten? Four? I don't care because there's a need. If there's a need, if people need preceptors, I'll run a mini class. I don't care. Okay. Well, why don't we do this as a suggestion? Why don't you, on your website, outline the steps that people need to take in order to complete the preceptor project? I think it's there. Okay. It's there. Yeah, Lynn okay. says, yeah, it's yeah. there. Because I've gone on your site yeah. to get it because I couldn't find it on the free hospital. Okay, so okay. it's there. That's yeah. good. There's a source for a reference. Is it difficult to find? Okay. Yeah, we make things, we try to make things really, it has to be there. I never find it. So. <laughs> and if you can't find it on hers, you can always find it on the Southwestern one. Yep, they do a good one too. Erie County's is. Yeah. Everybody's different. <laughs> Everybody's got different ways of doing things. That's all. Okay. Half their stuff doesn't work on there. You know, oh, that happens. That Does happens anybody have problems. any questions for the program agency tonight? No, they're, they're your program agency. They're there to be used. They're there for you to reach. Use me, abuse okay. me. It's all good. <laughs> anybody else have any other questions? Yeah. On the CONs that are where are we and when and I know that's a it's a big deal if you're trying to open up a uh, amusement park. Yes. Theirs has not been submitted yet. I can tell you that it's not been submitted. Their lawyers still have it. They're putting the final pieces together. Okay. And It'll I'll get be, out soon. Yeah. How much I can tell you. Yeah. If I had something that I was supposed to worry about, then I'm do it one way. If I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I won't worry about it. <laughs> well, Charlotte brings to light a good point. Um, nothing's come in. Mike has talked to their attorney a couple of times, and uh, the comment has basically been what Charlotte said. We're in our final stages. Uh, the other thing, there are certain restrictions as far as 
the time process. Mm -hmm. I believe, John, you did participate in a couple of those over the years. I can't remember exactly. And there are restrictions. If, just throwing it out as an example, not saying it is because I won't pull up the regulation unless I have it in front of me. If there's a 30-day review period and you're going to open in 25 days, it ain't going to happen. Right. No, okay, that's, that's the sad part. That you can't, we can't control. Understand. That's why it becomes extremely imperative that you send me an email, you tell me what you want to do, we'll try to build it that way. If not, I'm just going to appoint people because that's something we cannot drag on. Now, who's had experience? Jason, you've had experience in this process. Sean, you've had experience. I have. John has. John Frozalone has. Uh, I probably forgot somebody, so I'll apologize before I do that. But this is work by no stretch of the imagination. This is work. How much work? Well, I guess an average con is probably going to chew up average. Some are better, some are worse. Probably 20 to 30 hours of your time. We had someone submit 700 pages. Well, it seemed like... But all I'm trying to yeah. say is if there's a downside to being a member, guess what? It's a downside. I'm sorry, Jeff. It seems like as many times as Hunt Country has done this, they would have their attorney, provided they're using the same attorney. Every time there's a new owner, there's a different attorney. Oh, right. They should have a stack somewhere, so they shouldn't duplicate the other one. They pretty so much do, though. When we get but you, need, the same you one. need to remember something else, people. Our job is not to write it for them. And quite frankly, the last time that uh, Darian Lake put their application in. It was pretty doggone good. It truly was. They pay good money. It, it <laughs> was really pretty good. We've had other problems with others, but that's the past. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Go to Part 800, everybody. Type in CON. Type in Municipal CON. Type any of that in and start reading through it. Okay, that's your homework assignment. Hopefully. Hey, nothing changed from the, the paper we had before, did it? For? For the cons? No. The, the guidelines? They were going to update it to the best of my knowledge. They have yeah. not yet. Okay. Any other outstanding old business? Any new business? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have some new business. Um, those of you that don't know me, um, I currently started at Cove and Dale about two weeks ago. Um, the beer um, training coordinator, so we're going to be doing some classes there as well. So, trying to get around Lance County into doing some teaching as well, getting into the classes and stuff for that effect. So, that's that. The other part is um, Holly Ambulance. I know in the email it said something about that. Um, I'm on the board of directors for Holly Ambulance, and we are currently looking to, um, well, we can't make ambulance calls, and it's been about a year. We're at about 15 to 18 percent of making our calls. We decided about a year ago something needed to be done, started thinking as a board what we were going to do, how we were going to do, and in December we decided that we are going to be giving our CO into the town of Murray. Our lawyer, Mark Butler, has all the information on it. So I guess if there's any questions, he would be the one to contact. But I was speaking with Mike before the meeting. And we're going to contact the lawyer to make sure that all the information comes here. We're looking at probably April 1st with these operations. I think the best advice that you can be given, to be very honest with you, is to contact the New York State Department of Health in that you're going to be surrendering, I believe that's the terminology, Didn't your certificate to operate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so I think, you know, I would, first of all, I believe your representative is still probably either Cindy McLeod or Jimmy Mahelko. 
get a hold of them and let them know what you're doing? At first, you have to, they have to do a transfer of a sign. Yeah, the tra it's going to be a transfer. It's, it's, if you end up ceasing to do business before you transfer, there's nothing to transfer. Right, we're careful. Yeah. You know, just careful. We're having this discussion on the way. It's not our business. <laughs> you know, the other <laughs> shell before they see. Yeah, you may have right. to do I mean, some. Yeah. I, I've been there. I'm there. I know. I'm just saying. But your counsel should be able to direct you in the direction. And I would request that you copy us on that information. Okay. You know, I think Sean brings out a good point. Is it a cease? Is it a transfer? It's a transfer. It's, a transfer. it's okay. an actual transfer. There's a specific so process that has to go through. Yeah. And that's that what you our have butler to go is yeah. doing for us. Like I said, we've been out of week long, so we have questions. Yeah. Any other new business? If uh, there is no other new business, I'll take a motion to oh, we'll adjourn. Oh, I thought, sorry. I thought we had another category under that or after that. So, um, Kind of in the same vein of what she was talking about. I've heard some stuff coming around back around. This cat is out of the bag now. So I'm going to make this statement. Um, this is by no means official notification. That will come by written correspondence through proper channels. This is just for information. But it's with a very heavy heart that I'm going to tell everybody that after 20, some 22 years of service, um, the end of April of this year, the Middle Court Fire Department will cease operations as an ALS first response agency. This decision was not made lightly. Um, it was made after much thought, discussion, and reflection over the course of uh, about a year um, by unanimous vote of the EMS staff and unanimous support of the membership at large. Uh, we are going to go to a BLS registered first response agency. Um, we are gonna surrender our certificate. We feel that this in the long run, um, this was done for due to a lot of factors that affect the program. Um, but we feel that in the long run, this move will let us better serve our constituents. Um, where we go from here is yet to be seen. Um, but anyway, so if you hear that, I, like I said, I've heard it come, we were trying to kind of keep it, the decision was made several months ago. We've been trying to keep it under wraps and kind of control the, the, the uh, control the spin on it and um, control all the chatter on it. But I've heard it come back around from three or four different people in the last two weeks. So the words out, um, it is true. Um, that's the deal, and like I said, this council at the appropriate time will receive official correspondence to that end. End of rant. One thing I'd like to point out, and I think it's something that we all do, but I'd like to go on the record with this. Any of these activities that are going on that are going to affect your community, you need to make sure that you make your county EMS coordinator, if you have a county EMS coordinator, county fire coordinator, if you have a county fire coordinator, since you're going to be impacting your community, you need to advise them of these decisions so that they can be prepared for them. Now, I think the key is going to be communication. Uh, please, please talk to your county representatives. Bring the messages back to your county EMS council. Any other subjects, questions, sure. Did anybody, did everybody get the uh, REMAC uh, proposed changes in the protocols? Yes. I just wanted to make sure you didn't get them? I don't, no, I don't. I, I believe Mike, Mike sent them out to everybody on the council. I just wanted to make sure that, that maybe nothing Rick bounced. Got them. Okay. You know, but they exactly. were remarks from the protocol. Like the oh, oh, proposed the proposed changes. Remax, yeah, protocol proposed changes. Uh, the university will be offering a CIC March. Oh, I don't know. I didn't it's bring it. Posted. I'm sorry. It's on our it's it, on our website. <laughs> it's posted on the Lake Plains website. 
uh, if you're interested, the directions are there as to who to contact. Uh, at this point in time, we've got half the number we want to hit in four days. Uh, CIC, very, very few and far apart are given. This is our second one in two years or two and a half years, whatever it is. Uh, next year's EMS seminar is going to be on the last Saturday of January. So save the date. It uh, was well attended. We had 78 uh, people in attendance and 23 people took the instructor update that day. So it shows that there is a need for this, this sort of thing. Anybody else? Anything else? Going once. I had one, one question. Um, my chief wanted me to look into the feasibility of finding something that's not EpiPens because of the cost and something like pre-filled syringes or, or, or having a draw and if this is something that could be a change made and what are the first steps in looking into something like that where you can have BLS getting something other than I know they're I know they're looking at epi one to one drawable for yeah. EMTs for okay, A's. For A's. I have not heard anything about it for basics. But um, every everybody, uh, John, everybody in your in your shoes feels your pain. Yeah, well, the, epi, the epi pens are ridiculously expensive for what they are, right. and they sit in the bag for the most part and expire. Look at your Narcan prices. Narcan is still cheap. Narcan is still cheap. It's like damn nasal atomizers they're zinging on. Right. Part of your cost. Yeah. Demand. Okay. Demand goes up. I think I would refer you to Mr. Mahelko at the State Health okay. Department. And uh, there is always a potential that you can put together a pilot program, providing there's a medical director that's willing to build it, structure it, organize it, take it through the REMAC, take it up to the SEMSCO, take it to the CMAC, and bring it back there. We'll talk to Jim first. Yes. And then run a pitch. Okay. That's Anything helpful. else? Going twice. Third time. I think most of you do. Pete Hendrickson. I'll second that. Dave Greenwald, right? That's me. All in favor? Aye. 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 You know when the next meeting is? There's 20 people here, yes. including the guests. You're all going to be here. Get the camera off now, Charles.